Behind me is the Port Hawkesbury Creamery building. It served many different purposes over the past century, and right now this structure is at the focal point of discussions between Port Hawkesbury Town Council and two other levels of government. Those discussions could see this building repurposed for the future, and it could also see a partnership between the town and the Nova Scotia Community College's Nautical Institute to help put a focus on oceans training and oceans research at this very facility. But before we get into some details there, how about a little history lesson? First of all, the name Creamery isn't an accident. On this very site in 1921, a functioning creamery opened up supplying all kinds of dairy products not only to folks all around the strait, but as far north as Sydney. The building was destroyed in 1925, however the creamery operation opened up in a new building not far from this one on the same site and continued to operate until 1951. In later years, many people came to this building because it was the co-op building supply store serving Port Hawkesbury and the surrounding area. In 1995, it was rechristened as an entertainment and community gathering center and served in this purpose for the following 11 years. There's a generation of straight area residents that knows the Creamery for the events it hosted over its 11-year period as a community gathering center. For starters, it was the site of the popular Port Hawkesbury Tuesday Night Cayley series, which ran here from mid-June to mid-October. In the fall, this became known as a Celtic Colors performance venue. And for a generation of teenagers coming through Port Hawkesbury in the late 90s and early 2000s, this building was known as the site of teen dances during the summertime, which were locally known as the Creameries. However, in 2006, all of that changed. In the summer of 2006, three levels of government put together a package that awarded the Creamery facility to Isle Madame Confectioners. The company already had a successful candy manufacturing and distribution center in Arishat, but decided to accept the Creamery building as a new candy-making facility while moving their shop to the building on the Port Hastings Rotary that's now known as the Strait Area Museum. However, in 2008, bad fortune befell Isle Madame Confectioners, and a variety of unforeseen circumstances forced the company to file for bankruptcy in late 2008. The company moved its candy-making machinery out of the Creamery building in 2009. Shortly thereafter, the provincial government and the town of Port Hawkesbury announced that it was going to join forces to refurbish the creamery building using a plan that had been devised in early 2008 to build a new arts and entertainment facility on the Port Hawkesbury waterfront known as Ship Harbor Place. So the Ship Harbor Place funds were diverted towards refurbishing the creamery so it could become the arts and entertainment facility that it had been back in the late 90s and early 2000s. Midway through 2010, the town of Port Hawkesbury exhausted the funding it had received from the federal and provincial governments to refurbish the Creamery building and restore it to its former status as an entertainment and community gathering centre. At the same time, the town ended its relationship with the Strait Area Waterfront Development Corporation, which had overseen the Creamery building's operations for the previous 15 years. The building then sat idle for another three years, but in 2013, discussions picked up steam between the town and the provincial government to turn the Creamery building into a community health facility that could house not only doctors' offices, but several other offices, including public health, mental health, and addiction treatment. Those discussions didn't go anywhere, and for the past 10 years, the Creamery building has sat idle without any operations happening inside or outside. However, that may be all about to change. At Port Hawkesbury Town Council's last public meeting before COVID-19 protocols kicked in across the province, Chief Administrative Officer Terry Doyle unveiled a funding breakdown for a new project at the Creamery Building to be known as the Strait Area Innovation Centre. If the project goes forward, the town would work with the federal and provincial governments to provide funding, as well as the Cape Breton Partnership. It would result in the town putting in $5,000 towards the overall $65,000 cost of the project. That includes $40,000 to be spent on a marine innovation center at the Creamery building, as well as $25,000 to be put towards an overall Port Hawkesbury waterfront development plan. 
Mayor Brenda Chisholm Beaton explains a little bit about what the Marine Innovation Center could look like if the project goes forward. We do have other partners at the table as well as NSCC and and as in Develop Nova Scotia. And the conversations around uh, what we're hoping to achieve down on the waterfront is based on you know creating an innovation space for for oceans uh, and and marine. So it could be uh, part of fleshing out that vision is could be like what what is our kind of comparative advantages that we could establish some some an innovation hub. Uh, down at that waterfront location. So um, having a presence of NSCC down at the waterfront, it's extremely important. And we hope to to attract some expertise with regard to ocean safety, which is definitely a, a national uh, opportunity. And I really feel like the town of Prudoxbury could have this space so that we could be leaders perhaps in ocean safety or other or other areas uh, regard, regarding oceans or other kinds of industries. So the space will not only be uh, restricted to ocean studies, but it could also be, you know, certainly um, other, other areas as well. With the project's focus on oceans and marine issues, as well as oceans and marine training, the mayor is hopeful that the Nautical Institute for the NSCC could be a major player in helping to develop the new project at the former Creamery building. Yeah, so they'll definitely have a presence down at this at this space, and um, and as we kind of continue forward with our, our vision of what this innovation space can can look like, uh, you know, it will it, it's going to be again a conversation between all of our partners that are collaborating, and in terms of timeline, uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure uh, as to like when are we going to see um, some you know hard hard details about uh, all of the. I guess um, partners that will be uh, in that innovation space, but right now it's just at the very early phase of discussion. Whether or not the NSCC winds up being involved in the development of the Strait Area Innovation Centre, Mayor Chisholm Beaton and Town Council are hopeful that the building that started out as a humble creamery in 1921 can prove once again in the 2020s that the cream always rises to the top on the Port Hawkesbury waterfront. At the Creamery Building on the Port Hoxbury Waterfront for Tell Ill 24-7, I'm Adam Cook.